Do you believe in ghosts? Well, some say that the well-known attraction Slaughterhouse Tucson is actually haunted. News 4 Tucson's Stephanie Weaver is live right now at the Slaughterhouse Tucson to investigate the meatpacking plant turned haunted attraction. All right, Stephanie, are you scared yet? How's it going out there? John Angelique, I am a full-blown scaredy cat. I hate horror movies. I hate haunted houses. So I'm not sure why I decided to volunteer to do this, but I got to go inside this haunted house and talk to Tucson Ghost Company. It is an experience I will never forget. The slaughterhouse was a 1950s meatpacking plant where thousands of animals were butchered. Legend has it many humans as well as animals have died here. Some kids being thrown in a meat grinder by their uncle. Employers say their presence still remains. I hear in this little tiny voice, is that her? Is that Teresa? Like these little tiny children talking to each other. So I've walked in, just turned on the breakers, walked back into the office and had blood dripping down my arm. The plant closed its doors in 2004 and was turned into five bone chilling attractions. Do people come here and say, I'm never coming back again? Yes, we do, we do. We've had customers say that they were pushed and turned around and there was nobody there. We've had actors refuse to come back because of things that have happened. Any advice for me as I head in? I feel like the ghosts can sense fear, so try to be confident. Okay, one more question. Okay, I'm stalling. Let's go. Becky Guideson is a ghost hunter and owner of Tucson Ghost Company. She came equipped to confront paranormal activity. I love this place, to be quite honest with you. We have found that the ghosts here, they're pranksters. So they love to play pranks. They love to get your attention. So because of that, they definitely interact with you. This is the REM pod. The EMF field lights up when paranormal activity is around. Thank you. And again. Thank you. And if that wasn't enough to scare me, the thermal gadget picked up a heat source. There's just a major. Hear that? Hello? That almost looks like lakes. Do you see that? You hear that? I did. Could that just be the building settling? Nope. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, the slaughterhouse can give you the chill. Especially when I'm upstairs, especially when I'm in the boiler room. Um, finally, I can walk in this building by myself, but that took a while. And I don't know if I'm ever going back, but if you're brave enough, John and Angelique, well, the slaughterhouse runs through November 2nd. Live from the West Side, Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson.